What's up guys, this is Jamie Loves Martial Arts here and I got back this week from doing a weekend in Maryland with Sensei Will Ball and the Baltimore Aikido group, the Baltimore Tamiki Aikido group. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what we did and how I felt about it. So we did some really unique Tanto Rondori stuff they call basically Baltimore Be More uh, Rondori. And uh, it's really cool because it's basically a realistic knife training scenario and they added in some really cool elements. One element that they, they added in that I'm definitely gonna start utilizing in my own training is a knife that when you made contact with the blade, it would both light up and make a noise. And this made it a lot easier to tell when you actually made contact with the, with the other person in a realistic manner. So you could do slashes, you could do stabs, but you know when the knife would be going into you or hurting you. And then another thing that they did in this uh, format that I really like is they opened it up so it was less uh, restrictive than the traditional Tamiki Aikido Randori. So uh, you could do whatever kinds of slashes you want. You don't need this dramatic stabbing movement. It could be anything you want, any kinds of stabs or slashes. And also, another thing that I really liked that they did was they added in judges. So we use the judges the same way that we have in Tamiki uh, competitive Randori. However, they're just helping us to figure out, did this person get stabbed and killed or did they live? And there's a lot of reasons why I really like this, but one reason is that we do this traditional Tanto Randori and it's a really good opportunity to practice the basic 17 techniques of Tamiki Aikido and it really hones your abilities to do those wrist locks. However, it's not a realistic knife scenario. It's not how people who are unskilled attack you with a knife. It's not how people who are skilled attack you with a knife. It's really not a realistic knife defense scenario. It does develop skills that are useful in that scenario, but it isn't that scenario. So I think if we're gonna have people training this traditional randori that has a lot of value in certain ways, that it's kind of almost like a, an ethical responsibility to also at least introduce them and have them practice a little bit of this Baltimore style randori so that they can actually get a chance to do realistic knife defense and understand what that entails. It's really, really important. All right, another key difference I forgot to mention in this uh, Rondori is that in the Baltimore style, we're actually allowed to do whatever we want as the uh, as the person who's defending. So you could strike, as long as you're not hurting the person or you're trying to avoid hurting them, you could uh, throw them, you could use any techniques you want. It doesn't have to just be this basic 17, all right? Now, it was really fun doing this. I also had a chance to, uh, to teach there and I really enjoyed teaching. I really like to, to share uh, Jiu Jitsu and Judo and MMA concepts and how I blend that with my Tamiki Aikido practice. It was a really great time in Maryland. Hopefully more people will join us next time. It was a strong event, but we're looking to make these even stronger uh, as, as time goes on. Thanks guys.